Goldengo is one of the most difficult Pokemon to try and obtain because it requires collecting 999 coins. He happens to also be one of the most useful Pokemon in terms of soloing 5 and 6 star raids in the game. So a lot of people are wanting to get their hands on this guy and I'm going to show you how to go from 0 coins to 999 coins right now. Right by the end of this video you should all be able to get your own Goldengo even if you have 0 coins from scratch. I'm going to show you where to find every single chest for Gimme Ghoul and make sure you guys catch at least one of them so you do evolve a Goldengo. There are loads of chests spread around all over Paldea and there are more than 999 coins worth of them in each given day. They do all have a 5% chance to respawn each day but you don't need to respawn any if you follow my guide right now in order to get your hands on all the coins you'll need. This one is the one of the first ones we're going to get. So this is on the Grey Tower, the very obviously distinguishable features, which is also a Flypoint South Province Area 4 Watchtower. And it it's right there on the map. You'll be able to follow my map here, and I'll show you the map for each one that we get. So get this one, and it's going to be a low level, this one. So once you knock it out or catch it, you will get your coins. Let's go ahead and Steel Beam them, I guess. <laughs> it's all we have. That will do it. And let's just see how many coins we get for this level 15 Gimme Ghoul. By the way, you just ha you have to catch one. Keep that in mind in order to evolve it to Gold Angle. Just keep that in mind. So 60 coins for that one. The next one is on the Grey Tower west outside Mesa Goza. You'll be able to come right here. It's another fly point as well. So very easy for you guys to get. Probably one of the earliest ones you'll be able to pick up. That will net you 10 Gimme Ghoul coins. All right. Next one's on top of the tower near the waterfall just north of Alfernada, which is the Psychic Gym Town and you have to fly onto the tower because you cannot climb up. That net us another 50 Gimme Ghoul coins. Next one, south, southwest of Cascarafa, right in the tower in the ruins. And you'll see it look like this. You'll be able to see the dark team star camp over there and the ruins down below right there. That get me another 50 coins. The next one's right here on this big slab in the middle of the desert. You can actually glide from the last one all the way over to this one very easily. And you'll see it on the gray rock part. It's right here. That bagged us another 50 coins. Next up, there's one in the ruins in the north part of the desert. Very easy to find. It's right over here in the corner. Bam. Let's get that one. That gets us another 60 coins. Next one's on this island off to the west of the desert, right at the north part, the northernmost island. You'll find it right there. Bop. That'll get me another 60 coins. The next one is east of Porto Marinada in the cave area, where you'll be able to find the chest right there up on an elevated part near the yellow stake. So we're just going to drop down here and get this one. That's another 60 coins, fellas. The next one's at this part of the split in the river up on top of the Grey Tower. Once you get there, it's Casa Royal Watchtower number one, right at this point on the map right here. You'll see it right there. Let's get our coins from it. That is another 50 coins. Next up, just east of that, we have our ruins on the map here, right by the lake, and you'll see it in the ruins here as well. Let's go ahead and grab that one. That's another 50 coins. And right away from there, you can turn a little bit more north and you'll see that tower. That's our next one. For anyone wondering where it is on the map, it's on this little spit of land here, right at that point. This is Cast Area Watchtower number two. You'll find it at the top. That's another 60 coins. Looking to your northeast, you're going to see another tower. That is our next one. And if you already have the fly point, you'll be able to find it over on your map right here. Casero Watchtower number three. As always, you'll find it at the very top right here. That'll net you another 50 coins. Next up one is west of Montenevra, right at the top of the waterfalls that are going down. You'll be able to come through the mountains at this point and the long waterfall all the way down through this river. Here it is, the chest. Go ahead and grab that. That will net us another 50. Next up in this Sokara Trail, if you go up to the far left part of this big rock in the middle, you'll find it on the gray part, just at the perch, right? Looking over this little lake area here. So let's go ahead and get that one. That one nets us 80 coins. All right. At this point on the map, just west of Dalizap Passage, up in the mountains, you'll be able to find some ruins like this, a little secluded actually. So just go all the way up the top, you'll be able to find them, and inside is a chest as well. Another easy one to spot is just west of North Province Area 1. At this point in the map, over here in the mountains, you'll be able to find a grey tower all the way up the top here, and a chest. That's another 60. At this lake area, I like to call Dragon Lake up at the top, far northeast part of the map, you'll find 
find an area with three towers and another chest will be up at the tallest tower. I already got this one, sorry. Just a little south of those towers, you will be able to find some ruins, a little bit uh, elevated, and you'll find a chest right in there as well, as well as a free roaming coin, but that's right here on the map. You'll be able to see the ruins there. That's gonna get us 70 coins, by the way. Next one's gonna be found a little south of North Province Area 2, right in this little pool with a stick in it. There's a lot of spawns for dragons in here, but there's also a chest. Bam. And after you get 999, which we've already just done, and that's not even all the chests, Gimme Ghoul is evolving. However, we did get some high rolls. We did get one or two chests that were like 60 to 80 coins, and not everyone is going to get those all the time. But either way, our guy evolves to Gimme Ghoul. Very cool, just automatically once you hit 999. Next chest for people who do still need coins, we are going to go through them all, is right here at East Province Area 3. It's a fly point in the middle of the mining area, just northwest of La Vincia. So we'll be able to get our next chest right here. That gets us another 50 coins. Decent. Next one south of La Vincia, right on this little bulge of land here, on the top of a grey tower. Very easy to find, very easy to spot. Let's go ahead and get this one too. That would be another 50, guys. Next up, just west of East Province Area 2 Poke Center, far west of La Vincia, on this spot of land over here, just across the river. On top, you'll find this chest right here. Go ahead and get that. That's another 50 as well. Next up is near Cloth's area, and it's unmissable in a grey tower high up at the top. That's another easy 60 coins. Directly south from the last tower, you'll find another tower right here beside the big plateau area. You'll be able to see it in the distance if you guys want to jump off and you'll find another chest at the top. That's another 50 coins. Last but not least, guys, bringing us to the beginning of the game near the lighthouse. You'll be able to absolutely just fly there. This is something you pass in the beginning of the story. And just north of that on little edge here, you'll be able to find another chest. That's going to give you another 50, and you're going to have way past 999 by now. You should absolutely have been able to get your golden gold dingo easily by now. So you hopefully have no problems now getting this in just one sitting very, very quickly. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully this helps you guys get your gold dingo so you can start cracking at those six-star raids solo. It also is very good for five-star raids, which is going to be handy for you all to farm Herba Mystic if you so want to do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, found it useful. Drop a sub if you did, as always, and I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, bye.